Good afternoon, everyone. I know many of you have been anxiously awaiting um, the lion moves. We're here at the Wildcat Sanctuary and we're moving lions to their outdoor habitats. And I uh, wanted to take you a little bit through the process. I probably can't um, be with you guys for everything because I need to be watching the lions. But as you guys know, here at the Wildcat Sanctuary, we have a, a certain style of way we set up habitats. The first is we have open yards that cats can go into like this. Then we have what we call smaller holding yards that lead to their big outdoor yard. And then these holding yards lead to their indoor bedrooms. Um, and this way we can care for cats that are aging, need to move, different ways to get construction in sight. And today we are actually moving Leo and Mansa, who are already out of the frame, out of their yard, anxiously awaiting to go into their building for feeding time, allowing them to walk across the building inside, and I'll show you that, to their new habitat over here. So Leah and Mansa will be moving to where Saltinia and Chapino used to be, into this big habitat. And we're gonna be able to do that from walking across. We've designed a chute. Can you guys move? <laughs> In the building. And they're uh, in a fence. So they created a chute from their room to room. And I'm doing it through the window because I don't want to open the door when there's a move going on. And Leo already walked over. He's walking back. <laughs> we're hoping Mansa. And we're allowing them to walk from room to room safely in a fence chute. And Leo's practicing very well walking back and forth from the chute. And once he goes outside to the holding yard, uh, Lissa will shut that room door and then will encourage Mansa to walk over. And this way they're able to switch habitats and rooms without having to go in a crate or be sedated. And he just shut the door. Uh, the caretakers are safely on each side of the chute. And now AJ walked out because Mansa's being a little bit more, um, I would say, she knows that when there's that many people in the room, she's a little hesitant of what might be going on. Chapina already walked through the chute and is in the room right behind the blue blind, but we're letting him settle down. And now we're just waiting for Mansa to walk. <laughs> through the chute to her new room, to her new habitat. And then once all these guys are settled in, we will be doing positive reinforcement to get Shanti to walk into her crate and she'll move down next to Chapino. So if you're just joining us, we're the Wildcat Sanctuary in Sandstone, Minnesota. We are moving, it's Lion Moving Day, and uh, the staff has constructed a chute system in the building to allow them to switch habitats on their own. Some have needed more encouragement. We really thought Chipino would be the slowest to move and um, Mansa and Leo would be quick to move, but actually Chipino and Leo moved and now Mansa's being a little bit more hesitant of what um, the new situation is of walking through the chute. Mm -hmm. So they're gonna maybe come out and just try and go back to routine to see if she'll come up for food. They're clicking the tongs so she's outside so that she hears the noise and knows, knows that it's feeding time and obviously all positive uh, reinforcement. And once she walks through the chute, they use a cable and a broom to shut the door and latch the door. But I will tell you, females in general here in the cat world tend to be way more, um, <laughs> have a mind of their own and not always follow the plan. And so it'll be up to the caretakers to just work on Mansa's timeline of when she'll move over. 
I'm just gonna take a peek at Chapino in the corner to see if he's doing okay in his new room. He'll get let outdoors as soon as Mansa comes out. <laughs> they flung a piece of chicken in her room to give her her reward for being in her room. And then they're gonna put food in the chute and walk away. See if a human presence is away, if that Mansa will then, uh, as we say, take the positive reinforcement or take the bait, I'm sure she's thinking. We're limiting the number of people in the room because obviously if their routine is used to two caretakers in the room that, and they turned off the light just to uh, make it easier on Mansa. Um, if their routine's used to two caretakers, once they see four there for safety, they can sometimes wonder what's up. So if you're just tuning in, we're the Wildcat Sanctuary in Sandstone, Minnesota. Uh, we are moving lions today. We're trying to do it in the least stressful way for them. So the caretakers have built a fence chute from one room to the other and allowing them to walk through the fence chute. And both Chipino and Leo did that right on cue. And Miss Monsa's taking her own time. But look at, we're gonna go, look at Mr. Leo. You already moved. What do you think of your new area? How about you tell your sister to come join you? There's, you're going to go into the corner of your whole big habitat? <laughs> so Leo's new yard, and of course we have no grass growing yet. I'm going to back up. He's patrolling, seeing everything going on. He's checking out the whole new yard. Can't wait till summer comes and we get actually grass growing and the trees blossom and all of that. He's going over by Chipino's favorite cave. Oops, <laughs> he startled himself. So Leo has moved over to the other side of Pride Prairie. Uh, they're working with Mansa to see if Mansa will walk through the chute and come over. Chipino's already moved over to the other side and then um, Miss Shanti Diva will come down and if uh, Mansa moves over, you know, within the next few hours, Shanti will move today. But if she uh, is a little bit of a stickler and takes longer, then we'll look at moving Shanti tomorrow. So, so we are at the Wildcat Sanctuary in Sandstone, Minnesota. If you're new to us, we are an accredited sanctuary. It means we do not buy, breed, trade, or sell animals. Um, our animals are spayed and neutered, or in the case of the lions, they will have a vasectomy because we don't want them to lose their manes, or the females will have an implant to prevent breeding. So you can see Leo all the way over there. He's doing a great job hey guys, left the front of the guillotine is over by the double door. patrolling um, his new area and learning all the boundaries. And I'm sure he's got some really good Chapino sense over in this habitat. <laughs> and of course, um, you know, when you give to Miracle Match and everything like that, your ongoing support allows us to provide such individual care for the animals as well as um, larger natural habitats. And then of course, being in Minnesota, um, we have those holding yards and temperature control heated buildings for every animal here, which is a huge added cost. But we, he walked around the corner on this habitat expands all the way there. But it is something we really uh, believe in. We believe that for sure they, they deserve um, heated temperature controlled buildings, not only for the cold winter months here, even though they um, acclimate fairly well, but even in the hot summer, uh, we want them to be able to experience um, the temperature they want to experience. So Monsa looks like she's being stubborn, so I don't know if we'll get to see her move. <laughs> they've got the branches and stuff here that they've been taking down for enrichment. I don't know if she's gone in the building or if she's, she's, she's in her holding yard still.
<laughs> She's being smart. She's taking a piece and going back into the holding yard. If she only knew what was on the other side, she would be very happy. And again, as you guys know, we always do this at the cat's pace, uh, not ours. There's Chipino checking things out, but the hallway chute is empty. Well, we're going to be signing off because I think this is going to take a while and the caretakers definitely have that time. Um, we will try and do the scheduled caretaker talk with Elise at 2.30, but always know that the cats come first. So if she's still working on the lion moves, we uh, won't be doing that. We'll be postponing that uh, chat for another time, but we'll try and stay on schedule, but we are always on the cat schedule. <laughs> Mr. Leo, you keep going around. And I always want to remind you guys that we've got a, about a week left of Miracle Match where your gifts are doubled by generous donors. So we always accept donations. It allows us to do the work, the food, the enrichment, the vet care, and you know the individual care forever for these animals. Leo, you're doing so good. I thought Leo would be a little bit more crazy at marking since he always has it out for Chipino and now he's in Chipino's old space, but he's uh, taking it in stride. So some people are asking us why the move? Well, this habitat on this side is larger and these two are merged together. So having them in a larger uh, habitat, this is Leo the lion, is um, better for them. And then Chipino is single and uh, Miss Shanti Diva is single. They're older and geriatric. And so having them on the other side with two smaller yards because we divided the large yard into two to accommodate them. And so our moves are always looking at what the cat's interest is and what they need. And you can see Leo's patrolling his new yard. Um, very normal that he's gonna look at the boundaries of a new habitat he's in. He's not doing stress pacing or anything right now. He is just checking every boundary and uh, wondering where his girl Mansa is for sure. <laughs> so we'll keep you posted on the move. Also, uh, Mr. Bengal um, Tigger had a play date today with Bonsai, Indy, and Felix, and we were told it was going really, really well. So we will, um, come here, Leo. Come on. Hi, bud. No. What's going on? What's going on? Are you in a whole new area? I like that he ignores me. He's perfect lion for doing that. Check out your cabana. Check out all the smells. <laughs> I think this will uh, new space will keep him busy for about 24 hours. He'll be busy marking and uh, looking for Chipino in the space, wondering if he's going to come across him or find him. And hopefully his sister Mansa will join him very shortly. <laughs> so again, we're the Wildcat Sanctuary in Sandstone, Minnesota. It's lion moving day. Moving day. We do not buy, breed, trade, or sell animals. We are a 100% rescue organization. Um, we do not like seeing these animals live behind fences. And so we encourage people to join the cause of ending the big cat crisis. And um, we really support legislation that prohibits private breeding exploitation um, of wild cats in captivity. On that note, as Leo walked away, thanks everyone and we'll keep you posted.